Now, some members of the People's Democratic Party in Oshun State have threatened to embark on mass action across the state if the suspended chairman, Olu Soji Adagwondo, is not reinstated. They stated this at a press conference held at three different locations in Oshogo, where they described the alleged mismanagement of 150 million naira as baseless and false. Rafiwa Ahmed reports. In April this year, Soji Adagmodo was asked to step aside as the Osho State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party by the National Working Committee of the party over allegations of anti-party, malfeasance and maladministration. His vice, Akanfe Atidade, has since assumed his position in acting capacity. But some members of the party are aggrieved that the step-aside order on Soji Adagmodo is taking longer than expected without any investigation into the allegations leveled against him. Addressing press conferences in three different places, the aggrieved members threatened to embark on mass action against the decision if leaders of the party fail to resolve the matter. We are here to let you know that after COVID-19, we are going to embark on mass action in Osho State to let the people know that PDP is our party and not a personal property or a political party of any individual or family. It is a joint venture built by all of us in our various localities without taking a penny from an, any individual. Thank the groups alleged that some people are being paid to destabilize and decimate the party by frustrating its affairs within the state in order to truncate its chances in the coming local government election and the 2022 governorship election. It is very important to note that as an opposition party in Osu State, our inability to resolve internal crisis has remained the greater interest to taking power back from the incumbent government, government from the past 12 years. We have found that this current crisis is not in the best interest of the party. We want to use this opportunity to ask the leadership of the party at the national headquarters whether any money was released to Osu State chapter, either from campaign or some, or something else. We want to use this opportunity to ask Dr. Deji Adeleke and his brother, the party's gubernatorial candidate, whether money was released to the party for campaign. The groups, however, charged the National Working Committee and zonal leadership of the party to, as a matter of urgency, resolve the infighting to prevent the party from being factionalized in the state. Rafael Hamid, TVC News, Shogun.